Jonathan kind of talked about you being just like the leadership you bring to the team, um, not starting quarterback or anything like that. But you know, how do you describe what you've done, what you do behind the scenes? I think you know that we don't, we obviously don't see. Yeah, so I'd say you know part of it just comes from consistency, um, being around. Um, we got we got Mav, we got guys like Mav, Cal, myself, who who have been around, you know, familiar with with a few different regimes through here. I've, I've seen a lot here. Um, and just sort of continue to show up. So I'd say that's what I try to bring is just, you know, good, bad, or indifferent, no matter how, how we're doing, how the day's going, whatever. Where we're at in the season, you know, there's been a lot of ups and downs and whatnot coming, coming this way, and, and now we're getting some ups. Just no matter what's going on, just showing up, being the same, being the same person, same face. Um, you know, if you're new, I want to reach out to you, make sure you're, you're comfortable here, you feel welcome here, um, feel like you're getting – getting your feet under you and whatnot and just being that sort of just old, old timer presence that's, that's that's seen a lot and, and, and can can share a word with you if you need it and whatnot. So how much can you talk to Coach Smith about his path as a walk on to doing what he did? Can you kind of maybe compare that to what you've done over the course of your career? Yeah, yeah. So so having a guy like him in, in that role, um be, being the head man and, and Sort of, yeah, he was the perfect example of, of that, just sort of underdog, walk on. You know, he did great things out there, taking them to the Fiesta Bowl and stuff, um, being very successful as a quarterback. Um, and, and so that's, that's, and there's plenty of stories here with that, with, with guys like Blair White and Kenny Willekes and Jack Conklin and them. And so, yeah, as, as a walk on myself, you always look up to those stories. And, and having one of those stories as your head coach is, has been pretty cool. And I've talked to him here and there just about, you know, add add in value wherever you can, um, on and off the field. Just being being what you can be for the team, regardless of what your role is necessarily. So. Did you go on, when did you go on scholarship? I'm I'm not on scholarship. Yeah. The whole time. Yeah. Just just grinding it out. Yeah, it's impressive. <laughs> so stick with it. You know, I mean, because I mean, with all the change and turnover, you could just say, you know what, I don't want to what. Why stick with it? Yeah, I just, I honestly, I just love, I love this place. I love, I love the, the people in the building. You know, from, from down in academics to the nutrition to the training and the strength staff. You know, I, I just, I, I love, I love this place. I love, I love the people here. I, was, I, I love my teammates, um, and just always want to be there for them. You know, it's, uh, I'm never gonna a ask for too much. All I can do is show up and work, and, and you know, get, get rewarded, get rewarded when you get rewarded. But I'm not. I'm not necessarily in it for anything, but but what I can give to the team, just here and there, you know. So. What are some of the biggest philosophy changes you've noticed from this year um, compared to last year? I'd I'd say I, t I tell people this story. You know, the very first team meeting, um, I want to say some of the first words that that Coach Smith said were, you know, the more connected we are, the more committed we'll become, um, and it's impressive how how far we've been able to come towards that goal with how many new faces we've got. It's, I mean, it's college football in 2024, you guys know. I mean, we've got 60-something new guys since, since January and whatnot, but we've really just doubled down and, and really gotten to work on, on that part of it, you know, on and off the field, being on the same page, but also just getting closer as a group, getting to know each other, getting to know each other's stories. Where And that goes from the coaches all the way down to every player. Um, just, just being more connected, and then when you get in those situations in the game where it's the fourth quarter, there's ups and downs. Football's a long game. You just keep responding and showing up because you know we're doing it. We're doing it for the green and white, but we're doing it for each other, and and that's sort of I think where where that shows up on the field. If someone were to ask you to contribute to a book about life lessons, you talk about the evolution you have. What kind of input would you be able to give? book about like just just keep showing up you know it, it it is what it is at the end of the day things are things are going to happen that that you really can't control um and just just keep showing up find find work you know just just add value where you can and just you know take take some strain off the people around you um I, i'd heard that message at one point that that stuck with me um you know so Right, right. Yeah, um, I, I'm trying to think of how to word it. Just like just coming in in the building every day, um, and and just leaning on the people around you, like just fe feeding off the energy of the people around you, being there for each other. You know, even even you know in the good times and the bad times, just just being being able to to like I said earlier, just sort of have that consistency of. 
you know, no matter what's going on, I'm, I'm going to show up and try and be the same as Sam Edwards that I was yesterday um, and just, just be, be a consistent force. I feel like in the end, you know, consistency wins. I think it was last year, um, Hank goes in the portal and then you end up splitting long snapping duties. Having seen what happened the year before and how, you know, what can go wrong, the high pressure situation, you know, what was that like when you just, I think it was the Iowa game, right? Yeah. 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 Um, that was a pretty crazy deal. Uh, I'd kind of been messing around in camp before, like an evening walkthrough or something. I, I, I'd, I'd called the special teams coordinator. I was like, "Hey, just just so you know, like I, I have this in the bag if we ever need it." Um, I'd snapped in high school, sort of just self-taught. Did it did it to, um, you know, have have that just in case I ever need added value or what, whatnot. So uh, so when when my number got called, I, I would always joke with them. I was like, "Hey." It, it can't be much different than riding a bike, right? Once, once you do it, you never lose it. So um, I just sort of take, took a super relaxed approach and got, got my reps in practice, got comfortable with it. And, and this, those, that specialist group makes it, makes it real easy. You know, all the confidence in the world and those guys, Eckley, Eckley holding it and, and Mr. Kim kicking it. We know what he can do. So, yeah, that, that, that whole group made it, made it real easy to, to step into that role and just get reps in practice, get comfortable, get our timing down. And, and do what we could. Sam, with all the academic success you had, what does that say about Team Edwards? And do you get questions from other guys saying, you know, how do you do this? How do you manage your time? And what do you tell them? Yeah, um, so very, very much a, a testament to just sort of how I was raised to, you know, sort of do my best. I was never necessarily like, you better get all A's or else or anything like that. It was, you better do your best and whatever that looks like, like, you know, my parents kind of, you're like, we know what that looks like. And, and if, if it doesn't look like that, then, then we'll talk. But, uh, but yeah, just, just again, honestly, and I, I hate to uh, come back to this too much, too cliche, but showing up. A, a lot of it is, is showing up, you know, develop a relationship with your professor if you need, if, if, if that's what the situation calls for. Be, be able to get with them and say, hey, I need some help here. Um, I, need, I need to maybe get with you. I'm not understanding this. And I, I've obviously been fortunate. James Madison's a pretty small community, so I've been able to do that quite a bit. But yeah, for sure, guys. Will, I, I hang out down in down in Mandy's office quite a bit, and guys come in and out of there, and so they'll they'll want a word of advice every once in a while. And and sometimes I'm like, hey, man, that's you, you're a different major than me. I don't know how much how much help I can give you there, but but I try and be helpful when I can. Just just giving some advice on on splitting your time up and and how to just get it done. So do your teammates look at you as? Super bright, or just a grinder who never quits. I don't know. I'm not. I'm not sure. Ho hopefully, a little bit of both. I, I hope they see a little, little bit of brightness. But also, I definitely want my my work ethic to be something that people notice. Not necessarily that people praise one way or another. You know, I, I don't really care about that. But something that people can look to and and, and notice. So. Well, your years is for you five or six. Five. So in your five years, what what roles have you had? Like, you you play seem like a lot of different units that you did your time yeah uh so 2020 was a weird year kind of just was a freshman getting to know how college football worked and whatnot it was also the COVID year um and then 2021 uh you know he heavy on the on the scout team linebacker uh getting reps there you know that was that was a great offense we had and so it was good to go against them every day in practice um, especially number nine was, was something special but uh <laughs> But he didn't get, he didn't get, uh, it's, it's tough to catch him, I'll say that. He, he didn't get touched too often. Um, but, but yeah, so that year and then, and then 2022 coming in, you know, really trying to expand that just anywhere I could. And, and coming out of camp, really, it was looking like it was going to be a pretty similar year for me um, to 2021. You know, we were, we were pretty deep in a lot of spaces and or spots, I mean, and, and just looking to, to find whatever work I could, stay available. Uh, and learn the scheme of the special teams as much as I could. So if, if, you know, if they ever needed anybody, they at least knew I knew what I was doing. Um, and that's sort of what happened halfway through that year. Some kickoff return uh, depth sort of started to, to dwindle, ended up getting thrown in there. And then from there, just sort of expanded my role to, to some punt units, kickoff return, whatnot. Um, and then I snapped that year in the Penn State game. Uh, that one 51 yard or whatever Jack Stone hit in the half. That was my first uh, collegiate long snap. But uh, then, yeah, 2023, um, 
running the show on the protection a little bit on punt, kickoff return again, some stuff like that, and snapping obviously when, when Hank hit the portal. Um, just sort of defensively, just providing depth at a few different spots, trying to cross train if they ever need a guy to step in, just trying to be the guy that knows knows what he's doing no matter what spot it is. So when you when you look at the defense, what, what do you what do you see as the biggest difference this year versus the last couple, I guess? Yes, I, I think Coach Rossi's done an awesome job. He's gotten us, you know, playing. I think as hard as we've ever played, you know, on the same page as as much as we as much as we've been, um, and and that he talks about you know our how, um, how being effort on steroids, just running to the ball, you know, erasing some of those small mistakes that might happen when we're not on the same page, um, but also just really emphasizing our communication, our technique, and 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 how we're doing things there, and so. Um, yeah, I'd just say we're, we, we seem to be clicking a little better. We're, 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 uh, we're still working on it. We're still, like we talk about, race, racing to improve, work that execution, the details and whatnot, and just always keeping that effort a, a constant factor, playing hard. Did you say the confidence level is higher? I mean, you know, especially when you see results like you guys did in the you know, fourth quarter of the FAU game in Maryland, I mean, where you're kind of holding the line. Yeah. And giving, you know, kind of keeping things. Uh, you know, better for the, you know, even for the offense. Yeah, I'd, I'd say certainly the confidence is high uh, in, in our group and, um, and among our group, just in our, our ability to respond. Like I talked about, um, you know, it, it showed up all in spring, all in camp, and it had to show up in the game week one, and, and it did. And, and then it's, it's continued to show up. So, so seeing our ability to respond, um, seeing how hard we play no matter what the situation is, and you know, confidence sort of comes from that proven performance, the built trust and whatnot. And so, yeah, I think we've we've been giving each other every reason to, to keep believing and, and keep building confidence in our group for sure. Having like grown up in the area and been weathered through all the adversity over the last few seasons, just how much pride do you take in being part of this like the start of the new era and hopefully get the program back to where it was? I, I take a ton of pride. This this has been this has been awesome so far, like I said, still still building building to what we what we want to be um, but that was part of really my decision to come back for my fifth year um, I had weighed a few options of, of just sort of feeling it out what the situation was going to be like here um, whether or not you know maybe maybe look at some grad transfer opportunities to a couple smaller places or something like that um, had crossed my mind but I mean the the first team meeting with coach Smith and just learning about him and getting to know him and what he's about as, as a coach and a person, um, really, you know, thought to myself, this is something I want to be a part of just to get this thing rolling. I, th I think we're, we're doing the right thing here. We're headed in the right direction. Um, and that's meant a lot to me to be able to be a part of the start of that. So you were a big captain in season opener, captain? Correct, correct. What that FAU. That, was all, that meant the world. Um, you know, growing up around here, Williamston down the road, going to school, Lansing Catholic, just just across uh, just across the the city over there. Um, that that meant the world. I mean, I grew up in Michigan State all my life, uh, around the program and whatnot. Seeing seeing all the greats come through here. You know, Darquez was back in in town for his Hall of Fame. Javon's around the building all the time. Seeing those guys and then and then being able to. Like like being told that I'm seen as a leader on the team just was awesome because you know you don't always get a I mean you get a feel I I I sort of feel like the respect and the 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 leadership voice that I have but then just having something sort of tangible um, was just an awesome honor to to walk out there for that coin toss in Spartan Stadium. Throughout this journey, have you ever thought about like hanging out the Blazers? Or I know you said like maybe. Before this season, you were thinking about transferring out before you got the team meeting. But any time before that, did you think about? No, not really, to be honest. No, I've I've always I've always been in it, and even even this past year, like, it was just a sort of a, a small thought that had crossed my mind, just in case, you know, that so wasn't. Have you kept an eye on Cade? Uh, yeah, I that's mean, my guy. He's obviously progressed. I mean, that it, it's almost similar to what your path could have been had you left, right? I mean, right. you kind of, I mean. What, what made your decision better for you at that point, do you think, maybe, that, and Cade's decision best for him? Yeah, I'll, I'll say, first of all, I'll just shout him out, man. He's been he's been killing it over at Miami, Ohio. He's, what, two? I, I didn't see their week two stat line. I don't know if they played week two or what, but 
they, yeah, I saw they opened with Northwestern. He had over 100. He had over 100 this week. So he's been that's, – that's my guy. I love Kate. Um, I still check in on him and stuff. So he's, he's, do, he's killing it out there. But, yeah, for me it was just – I don't know. I, I, I really I – was, I was deep in, in – I've always – obviously the academic side means a lot to me as well. I was deep in my program over at James Madison. Um, I was going to finish that regardless. Um, and just being around here, being a part of this was something I, I never wanted to give up. So – uh, stretch, stretched it into five years, and like I said, being able to be a part of Coach Smith's, you know, new regime and, and building that up um, for for this program and for this university is just—it's been awesome. It's been rewarding in itself. Um, and then the, you know the little bits, bits of playing time and, and getting on the field and being a captain and stuff. That stuff's all all icing on the cake for sure. Sam, your future is whatever you want it to be. But when you think about walk on, sometimes. They become very effective coaches. When you think about Jonathan in that path, could you ever see yourself going down that road, or are we going to be voting for you someday? We'll, we'll see. We'll see. I've definitely I, – I know what Coach Ross will, will answer if, if you asked him. You know, we've, we've had that conversation a few times. Um, we'll what see. He uh, he'll, he'll say I'd, I'll, be, I'll be back here sooner than later you know, with, with a clipboard and a pen. Uh, but, but we'll see. I could definitely, I could definitely see myself. Uh, you know, getting into coaching. I, I've been dabbling a little this summer, helping out Lansing Catholic. My brother's a senior over there, so I, I, I provided some input. Um, their defense been doing all right. Uh, but, um, but no, I can see myself being a coach. Uh, the, the plan right now is sort of law school and then figure it out from there. So may, you, you might also be voting for me one day. We'll, we'll, we'll see. All right, thanks. 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 Thank you, guys. Appreciate it.